the internet as an effective tool for promoting films. This presentation will focus on how effective the internet is when promoting a film. My focus films are Inception and my sub-focus films are kick 2, Cloverfield and Carrie. I will now play a video of the telekinetic coffee shop surprise prank. Inception created a website which was an online game. You had to complete the game to win prizes such as t-shirts and posters. Kikos 2 set up a website called We Are Justice Forever and the main purpose of the website was to win prizes which were t-shirts, posters and secret trailers. However, the only way you could win this was by sharing their film to your social networking page. Carrie, however, created an interesting prank which was uploaded on YouTube. The prank which was shown at the beginning of the presentation. The prank was seen by over 15 million users. And by the end of the prank, the film information was shown, which would hopefully drag audience in after being the witness to such an extraordinary prank. Here are some traditional methods of marketing. Here we have an example of a billboard and a poster. Billboards are large, which allow it to contain more information than the poster. It focuses on the critics and reviews, as well as the artwork. Images on the billboard are known to be bolder and stand out more. In some cases, billboards cover a whole building, such as the one shown here. Posters focuses on the stars of the film and the design of the poster, making it look attractive enough for the audience, and can also be placed in more remote locations. Reviews can be biased, which can lead to people believing this, and in the end, not going to see the film. Reviews can also be from friends. If a friend tells you that the film is bad, you most likely won't go and see it. However, they can also persuade you to go and see the film. Reviews can also confuse potential audiences. Good, bad, good, bad. You just don't know which one to believe. Before the internet, and even now, trailers were shown at a cinema before a film started. In my experience, we do not really pay attention to them as we are just determined to go and see the film, rather than wait. Only 450,000 people go to the cinema every day, whilst over 30 million people use the internet daily. These were some traditional methods of promoting a film. As you saw from the examples, all of them were trying to present their film information in an attractive way. Promoting is a way of presenting information to consumers as well as others. It is used to build the brand, value and gain recognition. So why is the internet used? Because of the increase in jobs, people are willing to do minor jobs for much more cheaper. For example, building your website, making the internet cost efficient. The internet is also available 24-7, whilst before, if you want to go see a film trailer, you would have to go to the cinema, which is only open a certain time of the day. Unlike the internet, which has no closure. Uptimes of websites are very high, so it's very unlikely that a website will become unavailable unless there is a maintenance break. It's also non-invasive. However, there are adverts which do pop up. Because of the use of cookies, the adverts will be showing something similar to your search history, which could benefit you in a way. I will now explain how Inception promoted their film online. In August 2009, Inception released their first website, www.mindcrime.com. Users were greeted by a spinning tabletop, of which they could move around. Little did the audience know this was a reference to the actual film, which is not released as of yet. Later on, in December, the spinning tabletop stopped and the website opened the online game called Mind Crime. If you completed the game and its multiple levels, you would be entitled to a sneak peek trailer and a few goodies which were posters and other images. Now I would show the website. So how does this benefit the producers? Statistics and cookies can show the age of the user and where they are from helping producers narrow a target audience down. You can also stream in HD quality because of the increase in technology, such as fiber optic cables. The use of cookies. So what are cookies? Cookies store information about you based on your internet activity. From this, distributors will post adverts based on your recent searches. This is useful as it allows you to view preferred adverts and it allows distributors to pick out audiences to target. Inception, it generated over 11 million fans and is estimated to be seen by over 15 million viewers. Kick-Ass 2, 
To win prizes, you would have to share their trailers via Twitter. Cloverfield created a MySpace account for each of the characters in the film where you can interact with them. Carrie uploaded their prank to YouTube which was seen by over 15 million viewers. Social networking sites. Producers are able to create pages on sites such as Twitter, Facebook and YouTube dedicated to promoting their film. First, they will need to create a page dedicated to their production company and once that reaches enough users, they can then create subpages dedicated to their individual films. This will pop up on all of the active followers news feed and they will be notified of it. Mass email. With the ability to purchase emails with a certain criteria, producers are able to pick on a group of audience to send out promotional emails, promoting their film. This may not work so well on younger audiences as they do not use emails as much as older audiences. However, if the email is not thrown to their junk mail and lands on their inbox, there is a good chance that the user will read the email to find out more about the film. Kickoffs 2 use incentive marketing. This is motivational promoting. You are rewarded if you promote their film. In this case, you get goodies if you share their film to your social networking page. Kickoffs 2 allowed users to win prizes which were posters, traders and clothes if they were willing to share the website via Facebook or Twitter. For each share, they would gain a point and if you reached a certain amount of points you would get a price. The more points, the better the prize you got, which means the more you need to share. Cleverfield created a MySpace account for each of the characters in the film. These characters would give out clues of what might happen in the film and interact with the audience. Although MySpace is not so used today, before it was one of the largest growing communities on the internet and it had the same effect as Facebook or Twitter have now. The conclusion, traditional methods vis the internet. Because of the increase in technology and the new social networking websites such as Facebook and YouTube, film traders or websites are easily transferred to one technological medium to another. Before social networking sites, it was difficult for those who are not technologically gifted or computer literate to view or share this content. This now allows film promoters to have a wider range of audience when promoting the film via the internet. Unlike traditional means of marketing, it is far more effective because of the simplicity and wide range of audience. Comments, reviews and feedbacks are also a big aspect of promoting films. Helpful reviews on how good the film is will most likely persuade new audiences to go and see the film, as they have a good backbone to how good the film is. User reviews are also far more trustworthy than looking at a film rating. As many users review the film, you will have a wide range of options rather than just one star rating.